Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here and 2.4 is here. So you know what that means. I got to show you where all the new red nucleuses are and there's 22 of them. Well, technically 12 of them are from exploration, but the other 10 come from chess. So I got to show you how to do it. Some of them require mechanics. Some of them don't. Some of them will just put some music on and some of them I'll explain to you exactly what you need to do, but I'll have all the chapters down below. So you know the drill, hit that like and subscribe. Let me show you where they're at. All right, guys, um, I'll probably have the maps in the imager right down below and I'll post them above, but there is three different maps. There are red nucleuses on the first map. There's red nucleuses on the second map and there's red nucleuses on the third map on the video that we're doing right now. I don't have them all marked, but I'll have them in the description down below just in case you want to see that. Now, quickly, let me talk about the 12 that you're going to get really quick. Now, you're going to have these four different areas. Now, I don't know what they're actually called in uh, the English version, but they're essentially area one, area two, area three, and then the secluded cave. So you're going to get three from the first top area. You're going to get four from the second middle area, and then you're going to get another three from the magma area. Then there's another two in the secluded cave, whatever you want to call it area. Now, so that's 12. Now there's another 10 we have to go find. So let's go find them. First up on the list, we have Jellyfish Cave, which is roughly about where I'm at on this map. All right, Jellyfish Cave requires you to do a mechanic, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit of detail. So once you swim down into this cave, you'll see that there's no lights on anywhere, and you can barely see anything. Now, there are four jellyfish around the outside perimeter of the center, whatever you want to call it. What you're going to want to do is go activate all four of those jellyfish. Now, one of the jellyfish will actually go into uh, this honeycomb structure and actually light it up like a light bulb, but the other three won't. And that's where the mechanic comes into play. So looking at the image that you have on screen, I've labeled the three jellyfish in the order they are if you are on top of the one that's lit up. So you have one, two, and three. Now you want to get them into their own honeycomb area as well, and they always move clock uh they always move counterclockwise so i've labeled the jellyfish one two and three and i've labeled their homes on where they want to go as one two and three so you want to put one into one you want to put three into two and you want to put two into three very confusing but let me show you how this works real quick so the way that you're going to do this you're going to hit the first one that we labeled as number one and then you're going to go position yourself to number three and you're going to play a little bit of the waiting game. As soon as that jellyfish that you activated from number one passes by that honeycomb that you're near and just unlights that honeycomb, what you're going to do is you're going to hit number three and you're going to quickly sprint over to number two and hit that immediately. If you do this properly, all three of the honeycomb should light up at pretty much the same time, effectively completing the mechanic. Now, once the mechanic is complete, you'll have it, everything will start to be very bright. You'll see all these jellyfish around and you will find your prize right in the middle. And it'll have another item that you need for another quest that I have a video for as well. All right. Number two on the map is going to bring us just north of that jellyfish island, which is an area that you went through during your main story quest. But you may have missed the chest. So if we head back to where they essentially were discovering those hatchlings, you will see inside of this area, there is a chest all the way at the back. And there you go, Red Nucleus number two. All right, Red Nucleus number three is gonna take you to the middle city. I'll show the map here in just a second, but you wanna go down below and you're going to want to go to the bottom right hand corner of the map or whatever you want to call this little fin or wing that you're at once you're up the stairs and you head on through you're going to go into this middle garden area and you will see a chest brightly labeled all right now i must apologize ahead of time i have unfortunately already picked up two of these here's one of the ones inside of the main city is going to have a red nucleus all right, so you're going to want to head back to the beginning of the main city and then head down below until you see this fire, lava, lake, waterfall kind of thing. 
in the middle now it takes me a while to actually find it because uh you know these are not listed on the map but as long as you follow the lava on one of the pitfalls of where the lava is you will see where the chest actually is now just look around for it it should be on one of the left or right hand sides of a uh, little stone pillar all right, I promise this is the last one I've actually got, and the rest of them, you'll be able to see it. But at the bottom of this lava volcano that you can get from, from the main city, as you saw here, just go to the bottom of the lava, essentially, and you'll find this chest right here that will have another red nucleus.